Breaking right now, two children shot inside a home in Dearborn. It's appalling, it's negligence, it's gross negligence. Now there are new questions about what was going on inside that home and who knew about it. And police say it was a toddler who pulled the trigger at an in-home daycare, and right now doctors are caring for those two victims. Here's what we know at this hour. First call came in this morning to 911 from a woman at this home on Harding Street reporting two children had been shot. On arrival minutes later, police found a horrific scene. Both children were rushed to the hospital, one arriving downtown at Children's at 1054. The other was taken to Beaumont Oakwood and was later taken to Children's as well. Both are critically injured. Jason Colthorpe is at Children's Hospital. We'll get to him in just a moment. Let's start, though, with Rod Maloney live at the scene. Rod. Yes, Devin, 3630 Harding is the address that uh, Tim and Samantha Eubanks live in, and police say that uh, it is here where the daycare was uh, working, and they also say that Samantha has spent the day talking to the Dearborn Police Department. Kids and guns so regularly prove a dangerous and often deadly mix. Family members tell Local 4 News that Tim Eubanks is a hunter. Still, when Dearborn police left the Eubanks home this afternoon, they loaded what appear to be hunting rifle cases, seized evidence from the scene where a toddler shot and wounded two other children in the daycare. Chief Ron Haddad gave us the preliminary report. There was, in fact, uh, two young children shot, one believed to be two years old, one believed to be four years old. Uh, both are in uh, critical condition. Haddad now says the infant somehow was able to pull the trigger on a handgun. The mad scramble to get the injured children to the hospital included police escorted ambulances. At the scene, the remaining children whose parents knew nothing of the shooting at the time were brought to the Dearborn police station for pickup. Neighbor Carolyn Rittenberry was shaken. Oh, it's terrible. She and other neighbors say they complained about the unlicensed daycare to no avail. I've seen them out in the backyard playing in their diapers and there's five or six kids at a time out there, maybe more. And a lot of times it's just the other kid, her older children watching them. Neighbor Marilyn Starr had some very strong words. Well, appalling. It's appalling. It's negligence. It's gross negligence. I mean, both of these children could die. Now, as saddened and angered as the neighbors were here in this situation, there is another side to the story to be told, and that comes from the family. And so coming up on Local 4 News at 6, we're going to hear from family members to hear what they have to say about Tim and Samantha Eubanks. In the meantime, let's move over to downtown Detroit and Children's Hospital, where Jason, Jason Colthorpe is now live to talk about what transpired there in the transport of these children. Jason. And Rod, as you said, you know, when this happens, kids and guns mixing, it can often end with deadly results. Maybe that's the sliver of good news here is these two children, these toddlers, both three years old, currently alive and thankfully will pull through, or hopefully will pull through. Their current conditions, critical but stable is the word we're getting from doctors about this. And again, this was the scene when the first ambulance arrived here at Children's earlier today. And as you can see in this video, you see police cars giving chase. When this uh, all happened in Dearborn, uh, police were frantic to get these two children who, uh, who were taken away in separate ambulances. Uh, they had three car escorts. Dearborn police were blocking off roads everything to get the ambulances to the highways without obstruction, trying to make sure every second counted to get these kids to the hospital and get them treatment. We've been out here for uh, most of the day since this happened. We haven't seen any sign of families, but given these are two toddlers, you can imagine parents are likely right by their side as they, uh, they go through this traumatic experience. And of course, we're gonna be following and monitoring their conditions. And if there is any change or update, we will bring it to you as soon as possible. Back to you. Yeah, all right. We sure certainly will, Jason. Uh, in fact, our coverage will continue on clickondetroit.com, where you can find the complete timeline of everything that happened. We'll update the story just as soon as we learn more.